So I have a pretty unhealthy obsession with barbecue sauce. I put it on everything, hot dogs, bratwurst, hamburgers, of course my grilled and smoked foods, you name it. I don't really care because it's delicious. So let's get one thing straight. There are obviously so many different types of barbecue sauces. Everybody knows that aisle in the grocery store and especially the folks that live in Texas and the Carolinas where the entire aisle is barbecue sauce. It's incredible. Well, I'm gonna show you how to make four different kinds. A sweet, a vinegar based, a mustard based, and a white Alabama barbecue sauce. All are super tasty. And of course, there are discrepancies between each. If you've been making barbecue sauce for generations or years, and this is how you like it to be done, then you do you. If it ain't broke, do not fix it. I'm gonna give my take on barbecue sauces. Like I said, I love them all. They're so delicious, and I think you will too. So the first thing we're gonna do is the sweet barbecue sauce. We're gonna start by prepping it up. Sound good? Let's cook. Let's kick off this recipe in Chef Billy Parisi fashion by small dicing up a yellow onion. You could use a white or a sweet onion as well. Simply slice off the sides, slice it in half, and then remove that hard outside peel. And then what we wanna do is small dice this. Now I will end up pureeing this, so it doesn't really matter the size of the onion, so to speak. And also, if you wanted to substitute out, you could absolutely use dry granules in this recipe as well. And of course, for the garlic, you already know, my friends, go ahead and press a few cloves right through a garlic press, scrape off any of that goodness into that bowl. We're taking that and the onions over to the cooktop. I've got about a medium sized sauce pot here. Just going to hit it with some oil turn the heat down to low medium and then what i want to do is add in the onions it's going to take about 12 to 15 minutes we want to get a brown on them a little bit of a caramelization going to help bring out more flavors again if you wanted to use onion granules and garlic granules you would simply skip this part i just wanted to provide a different option for you and i love the use of fresh onion here once they are nice and brown after that 12 to 15 minute mark we are going to add in our finely minced garlic. Just mix that in for maybe one to two minutes. They always say once you can smell garlic, it's probably already done cooking. Once it is to this consistency, now it's time to add in everything else, starting with some ketchup. You could use tomato puree if you'd like. Next, some light molasses. Do not use dark molasses, it is way too strong. Next, some cider vinegar followed up with some packed light brown sugar. The next thing we want to add in is some Worcestershire sauce, and then finally some liquid smoke, that is optional. And now some cayenne pepper, followed up with some dry mustard. And then of course we wanna season it up with salt. I'm using sea salt, you could use kosher or regular salt. And then some ground black pepper. Begin to mix everything around with a spoon or a whisk. That part is completely up to you. You'll notice it gets beautifully dark and thick and rich, but we have a few more things to finish off this recipe with. Beginning with the juice of one lemon, it's gonna add a nice tang, a nice finish to sort of brighten everything up. And then we wanna add some whole unsalted butter. This is very classic. If you look at some of the original barbecue sauce recipes, I'm talking from the 14 and 1500s, you would see that they're mostly just butter, cayenne pepper, and herbs. And so many barbecue sauces nowadays simply forget this incredibly important, important ingredient. So do not skip out here. And then what we want to do, because there's the whole onion and garlic in there, is just puree it using a blender or a hand immersion blender until smooth. And then boom, we've got a delicious, sweet, smoky, tangy, slightly spicy barbecue sauce, perfectly balanced with the fresh onion and garlic in there. This will last up to 10 days. If you use granules, you can keep this up to three weeks. This goes excellent on pork, chicken, or beef. And now for the mother of all barbecue sauces, the vinegar based sauce, beginning with pouring in some cider vinegar to a medium sized sauce pot. Next, we want to hit it with some packed light brown sugar, followed up with adding in a bit of salt. We are immediately going to take this pot over to our cooktop. And then what we want to do is bring it to a boil over high heat. What this does is help dissolve that brown sugar and that salt right into the vinegar before we add everything else. Once it is boiling and everything is dissolved, we're gonna put in some ketchup. 
Go ahead and scrape all that goodness into there. Going to add some color and some flavor there. Then the next thing we're going to add in are some garlic granules and then some onion granules. If you only have powder of each of these, totally fine as well. Next, hit it with some black pepper, some crushed red pepper flakes, a dash of hot sauce in there, and then whisk everything together. We are going to cook it over low to medium heat for about 10 to 15 minutes. And that's the same amount of time for pretty much every barbecue sauce we're heating up. 10 to 15 minutes. That's it. And then you've got this beautiful, tangy, spicy barbecue sauce that goes absolutely excellent with pork, chicken, beef, and it is phenomenal when dipping in french fries in there. Definitely try that if you've never done that before. This will last up to four weeks in the refrigerator. And now for a South Carolina mustard-style barbecue sauce. We are going to hit it with some yellow mustard. Scrape all that goodness in there. And any yellow mustard will do. Don't worry about the brand. Totally fine. Just get anything that's on sale at your local grocery store. Now what we want to do for some sweetness is add in some honey. The flavor profile of this barbecue sauce is really, really delicious. Once it's in there, we're next going to hit it with just a little bit of ketchup. Don't go overboard here, just for a little bit of flavor. And for some salt, some Worcestershire sauce. Next, some cider vinegar to help thin it out and add some tang. A little bit more sweetness with some light brown sugar. Next, some onion granules and garlic granules. Again, you could use powder if you'd like. Hit it with some salt to season it up some black pepper, and then last but not least, some chili powder. You could forego this and then sub out with a half teaspoon of cayenne pepper if you'd like. We are going right over to the cooktop over low medium heat. All we're looking to do at this point is whisk it together and cook it for maybe 10 to 15 minutes. And oh, I just forgot one thing that I wanted to add in there for a little bit more flavor and texture. I want to put in some whole grain mustard. It really kind of takes it to another level. Totally forgot about that. My bad. Add it in there. You'll see immediately it's got great color, great texture. It's absolutely phenomenal. The flavor is really, really good in this. And then you've got a delicious tangy mustard barbecue sauce that goes great with pork and with chicken. It's okay with beef, but I really like it with pork and chicken. And this will last up to three weeks in the refrigerator. Definitely give this one a try. It's so different than the others and dang tasty. And then last but not least, the most interesting, an Alabama white barbecue sauce, which is mayonnaise based. And I've got a great recipe for homemade mayonnaise you should definitely try out. Now we're going to add in some cider vinegar, followed up with the juice of one lemon, some Worcestershire sauce. We're next going to hit it with some raw horseradish, not creamy, raw prepared horseradish is what you need. Some onion granules and of course some garlic granules. Can't say enough, you can absolutely use powder if that's all you have. Now I'm going to pour in some sugar for some sweetness, a little bit of cayenne pepper for some zip, and then last but not least season it up well with salt and black pepper. This one's very easy to prepare because all you need to do is whisk everything together until it is completely combined. And then you have this beautiful, creamy, fatty, delicious barbecue sauce that goes excellent on chicken and pork and will last up to two weeks if you're using store-bought mayonnaise or about 10 days if you've made the mayo yourself. And here's the kicker. You can customize each of these. If you love spicy, add in more cayenne, add in more hot sauce. If you love sweet, add in more brown sugar, sugar, molasses, or honey. You make this work for you. That's the beautiful thing about barbecue sauces. You don't have to be put into a box. Get creative. And of course, these little itty bitty techniques, putting them into practice over and over again so all of your homemade food and especially homemade barbecue sauces from scratch will be that much better. And these are absolutely incredible. I know you're going to love these. And of course, if you learned something, please, please, please like and share this video and definitely check out this video right here. I made it just for you. You'll love it. I'm going to try out all these. Here we go.